We appreciate you staying with us. Here's a big story we are keeping a close eye on the possible sale of Kohl's to Franchise Group Inc. The deal, if finalized, is reportedly worth roughly $8 billion. And with us today to talk about this is Mark Cass, the editor in chief of the Milwaukee Business Journal. Mark, I always appreciate you joining us here on Thursdays. Let's just dig into this Kohl's conversation yep. here. What are the key factors that both Kohl's and Franchise Group executives talk about as they attempt to finalize this really big sale? You know, I mean, I mean, it's a big deal, and I don't think we can understate how big it is in terms of the impact on our area. And now kind of as, we, as we've gotten through the first shock of this, and you know, they're obviously under negotiations, what they're looking at is, will it work for each side? Is there enough here that they can both kind of exist? They can both work together? And for coal is kind of what is that future? So I think they're looking at the real estate. I think they're looking at the number of employees and they're looking at the opportunity for growth. I mean, Kohl's has struggled over the past couple of years, you know, really during the pandemic, it was, it was hard for them. They've been a little slow online and they haven't done as well as some of the online retailers have. So this is, I think they're looking really under the hood here to see what they can do and see, and see how they grow. You know, for everyone we talked to, they said that the price is a little low yet, I think for 60 a share, it's probably more than they're going to see otherwise as a result of everything else that's going on in the world right now. So I think they're looking at everything else. And, you know, we'll know a lot over the next week and a half, but I don't think we can overstate the economic impact on our region. I mean, if it happens, you're talking about the potential for layoffs at the headquarters. You're talking about the potential for them not having their corporate headquarters here for that money that's normally spent in the community and really not being here. So, I mean, we need to watch this story and really see how it plays out. Mm. And Mark, speaking of a lot of money, you all with the Business Journal did a story looking at the rate of inflation in Milwaukee yeah. compared to some other cities. Where do we rank and when will we see the rate of prices slow down? Because a lot of people are curious about this. Yeah, you know, we're, we're amongst the high. We're about 26 in the country right now in terms of rate of inflation. Over the past three years, we've seen about a 12% increase in our prices. Most of that's come over the past couple of months. We all know that anybody who's gone to the grocery store, who's tried to buy anything. Obviously, the price is higher, whether it's eggs, whether it's milk, everything is increasing, you know, but we're not as bad as others. How about that? Maybe that's some good news. Chicago was actually fourth or fifth highest in terms of that rate of inflation. Some of the cities in Florida, some of the cities in California saw that too. I don't think that matters to people right now with fuel prices and everything going up. This is a hard time, much harder than, you know, the highest rate of inflation since the 80s. Kind of think about that, you know, a long time since we've seen it. In terms of when it slows down, you know, nobody knows the answer to that just because of because of the labor shortage, obviously, obviously, but with the war, with the war going on over in Ukraine, there's a lot of factors. And right now, nobody's saying it's going to slow down soon. Uh, and Mark, really quickly, we're running out of time. But this week, the Business Journal had the chance to go through the new two hundred eighty five million dollar Komatsu mining facility. Yeah. It's opening in the city's Harbor District. What does this mean? Well, what does this project mean for that area? Not only that area, but also the city. You know, I mean, I mean, I think it's a couple of things. One is, one is it's it's just a beautiful new new place where there was nothing before. Right on the right on the harbor, there a, a brand new facility, beautiful where there was just grass before. But even more important, more more importantly, Simone, it's jobs. It's a thousand jobs there that's going to be making things that are going to be shipped all over the world. I mean, for these jobs, could really could have been moved anywhere. They could have been moved to Illinois. They could have been moved to California. But no, they ended up staying here into this plant. These are people who work in our community who spend money in our community, and they have a great location right in an area of the city where we're seeing a lot of growth. So this is a great story for our city. Yeah, creating jobs is always a good thing. Mark Cass with the Milwaukee Business Journal. Always great to have you with us on Thursdays. We appreciate your time. Always good to be Well, for more of today's top business stories, you can head to bizjournals.com Milwaukee.